Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Odyssey. In the last episode, we completed Toaster, not Toasterina, uh, what was it? Luncheon Kingdom. Yeah, we completed the Luncheon Kingdom, kind of. We're still missing the secret entrance and we're still missing three coins. We're also missing three coins in the Snow Kingdom, uh, as long, along with the, uh, secret entrance. And, uh, people said it was around the secret moon area up here, and what do you know? There they are. So this episode's gonna be kind of like a uh, wrapping things up in previous areas level level uh, episode because there are quite a few things we have missed. So we're probably going to be getting to the Bowser area a little bit later. Just as a heads up, right now we're just kind of picking off all the extras. So that's gonna include a few of these coins. We still have a few paintings that. Honestly, someone suggested I look them up, and I'm not completely opposed to that. So, uh, if it comes down to it, we might do that instead of, uh, looking out for them, because... I don't know. I mean, people could, of course, tell me where the painting areas are, just like y'all do with the, uh, the coins. So it wouldn't be too big of a deal. I'm just not sure. It's just it's like, if it's something that you can't find through hints through the game, it's like... It's kind of a tiny problem for me in the form of a Let's Play because they're just somewhere, you know? So next up is the Luncheon Kingdom. Uh, people did say where the last three coins might be hidden here because apparently a lot of people had trouble finding these coins. So hopefully it's the ones I haven't found. Coming in here. And uh, someone said for the Music Toad here that actually said, uh, I want music that represents turning into a monster. Uh, I chose the Bowser music, but someone else apparently chose the... Where am I going? Over here. Uh, someone else apparently chose the Turning Into a Tyrannosaurus Rex music, which worked as well. So I'm surprised that, like, it can be interpreted that loosely. I'm surprised they even thought about that. Alright, so people said it might be hidden under the cheese somewhere around here if I don't get destroyed by spinies. So I'm going to look under these... Oh my goodness, that dead-eye accuracy. Okay. Oh, and he's gonna come back too. Can't have you living. Um, it's probably under this somewhere, I'd imagine. Oh, yep, there it is. Uh, one, two. Uh, are we missing one? Also, that guy keeps like respawning and I don't want him to knock me out. We're missing one. Oh, it's in that corner. Okay. I guess that makes somewhat sense. All right. Well, then we're going to go to the, the store here and go ahead and grab all the... Probably just the figurine we're missing. That's the last thing I buy on everything. Just because it's like, uh, it's not aesthetic for Mario. It's not a sticker on the outside of the Odyssey that we see all the time. It's just inside. Which is not as important to me. Okay, so... With that, what are we still missing in terms of moons? Well, we're still missing the secret entrance here. Uh, I believe this one was actually in a previous kingdom that we missed out on. I might end up looking that up to find it later. Um, the Snow Kingdom was in the Bowser Kingdom, so we need to keep an eye out for the painting there. And I think we actually saw it last time we were there. It just wasn't filled in, so we couldn't go through it. Um, that's done, 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 done. We still have one moon there because we need to have the space outfit. Uh, we still have two here because one is the art and the other is the end of the taxi side quest. And then we have all that there. So we pretty much have everything, I think, except for one secret entrance that we still need to find in a previous world. Other than that, we're completely done with these previous areas. I also need to go back to the Ruined Kingdom to go ahead and get the secret art there that I forgot about while we were in there. So that is completely my bad. Uh, Ruined Kingdom. This should be the last thing we're doing before we go on to the Bowser Kingdom. Just so y'all know, we are getting to it. Eventually. <laughs> it's also going to be like a huge step up from what we've been doing for the last few episodes because... The Bowser Kingdom, I was just like, well, we're near the end game. Let's just go on. So I didn't get any of the extra moons there, really. We have a lot to get there. 
All right, so just to check out the art, we have, uh, it's down here. I've taken quite a few pictures. Um, it's in like a little hole and it looks like it's in this beginning area. Just by the way that it's not like a Colosseum wall kind of thing. It's not like these, it's like a normal wall. Is this it? Somewhere around here? Yep, there it is. Wow. Huh, that's why that's why it was hard to find, because it wasn't really like a wall, it was just a slight little area. Huh. That one was actually surprisingly difficult to find for how small this area is. Although that's probably why they made it so uh like there is no significant landmarks or anything in the picture. No hints other than the fact that it's dirt wall, it's dirt ground. Anyway, that should do everything for the instead except for the Bowser area. And except for one painting that I still don't know the location of. I don't think anyone commented it. Maybe they did. I, I just checked back through like the comments in general and I didn't find one in the last few episodes, so whatever. Although I I feel like someone did. Huh. Okay. Well. Hmm. Yeah, there's the rock. That's right in front of the gate. So that's not a problem. Oh, it's not this gate. Hmm. Where is that? Does it show on the map? It does. It's right over here. No, that's the souvenir shop. Well, it doesn't matter. You know what? Because there's actually a hint art that we still need to get here as well. Okay. And I believe it's literally just like around here. No. Okay, hold on. Let's check that as well. A lot of hint art. But after this, we only have one more. Unless there's some we haven't found. Three steps from the goalpost. Six steps from the store. So it should be like right here. Yeah, there it is. Simple as that. Found with Sand Kingdom art. So that's gonna take care of that other Sand Kingdom one. Um, okay. So with that out of the way, collect more power moons, the main courtyards. So that's where the, uh, that's where the thing's pointing is at the moon rock. So that's convenient at the very least. Oh, yeah, the music here. Oh, it's so good. Everything here is so good. Where? Is that on the other side? It is. Okay, cool. Also, is it just me or that rock look bigger than the others? I don't know. It just felt like it. Oh, that is scattered all over the place. Okay, you know what? Let's do a sweep here. Let's start from the very beginning and work our way through. In this case, so we don't have to go to this beginning area at all once we're done. That is, if we've gotten all the coins, which I believe we're missing quite a few. Yeah, we have 21 to go. We have about 35 stars to get. Actually, I think that's exactly 35 stars. All right, so there's one on the tip of that. So we need to get up there somehow, which shouldn't be too difficult because you could just, yeah. I feel like I've even learned a lot of things about the game ever since we've been here. Also, if you notice, actually, this is something I wanted to point out. Oh, it's the bird. Oh, I thought it was just at the end. I'm gonna have to wait for that to come back. Um, I have a bunch of more coins than I had before, and that's because I've been actually going back through a lot of the free-running sections and getting some better times. I actually got top 1,000 in the, uh, in the Luncheon Kingdom. How am I gonna get him? Just gotta go quicker, I guess. Reset the boy. Oh, that's not gonna work. E. Like, if I... Oof, missed. Can I, like, sneak up on it, maybe? Like, what if I just do this? Is this Breath of the Wild? Maybe. Like, maybe get, like, max distance. No! I didn't want to roll. I think whenever it has the little cursor above it, that means you're in the distance to throw your hat at it. So we'll try and get that little cursor. <laughs> this is going to be the hardest moon we get here, isn't it? I doubt it. People in the comments are going to be like, oh, you haven't seen anything yet. This area is going to take a few, maybe even three episodes. I think whenever it gets the cursor above it, we're good to throw Hattie at it. There we go. Kaboom. Oh, I forgot about the, like, bright, vivid red moons. That's so cool. 
Can't wait to see more of those. Those are so cool. I love that color. All right, so moving forward, that was the only one on this area. All right, what do we have here? We have absolutely nothing we can just move right on. So that's cool. Uh, we need Birdie, actually. I'll take you. It's been a while since we've used one of these outside of a secret area as well, because I believe this is the only kingdom they're in. They're just so fun to control. And onwards. Oh! Okay. Third courtyard outskirts. Good thing we're going through these like this. Huh. Okay, there's two here. Um, that note block was there before. There's one on top of that wall. How exactly do we get up on that? Uh, there should be a bird somewhere, probably further down. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything to do with this sw thwomp dude. Or womp, I don't know. I forget which is which still. I think after making my livelihood playing video games for a while, you'd think I'd remember that. Especially when most of them are Mario 64. Okay, so there's one on this side and one on the other side. I just hope they're not, like, all, like, birds. Uh... Oh, it's in that. Okay, uh, we need a bird then. I did see any, though. Was there one, like... Yeah, there's one down here. Uh, is that note block the other one? It is, okay. Oh, come on. I threw my hat first. Oh, I remember watching some crazy strats for this and, like, uh, trying... Okay, trying to do the least amount of captures possible. Like, it was... It's crazy. Crazy cool. Oh, come on, really? Jeez. That is a distance, and now we have nothing. All right, you know what they say, second time's a charm. It's just getting, it's just hard getting used to using the bird again. Cause like, ugh. Ugh. The, all the control stick moving is very odd. There we go. Okay. It's just like, you gotta get used to pointing it back at the wall. Oh, you only have to press the B button once. I thought you had to hold it to hold it in the wall. Oh well, taking notes on the wall. And then we have the moon on the other side. That we need to take Birdie Boy all the way over to get. Also, the cars are really coming today. I'm sorry about that. Like, it's literally, they're coming one after the other. That's crazy. All right. He can just get in the wall here. Oh, this one's gonna be hard to get. No, not downwards. Nope. There we go. That's a fun one. Interesting. I think we literally just have to let go and... Yeah, I don't think we can fling ourselves from that one. And boom. There's another behind the tall wall poke poke. Interesting. So, uh, I believe we're only looking for the moon. For the uh, moon rock one moons in this area because... There, I think I just saw what it was over there. Yeah, that's the key. Um, we need to get that. Where is that? That's not over here. It must be on the outside. There's like a amp thing somewhere out here, correct? Or no? Yeah, there is. Okay. Uh, it is right here. Did that just appear? Oh, we have to go... Yeah. Oh, that's gonna suck trying to get back on while after the cutscene. At least it gives you plenty of time. Good. To, like, get resituated. Sweet. Stonewall circuit. Uh, next up's on the next one. So keep moving for. Actually, is there one there? No, that's just the Cappy place. Um... It looks like there's one on the circuit from there to the next one, so we'll go ahead and go to the souvenir shop. I keep calling them the Cappy places when they're not at all related to Cappy. They're just stores, you know? You know? Okay. Keep on going. I think there's one in the middle here. Did you see that? Hold on. What? How do you get that? Can you capture these? 
Hitting it makes it stop. What in the world? Is there like a flying dude somewhere around here? Also, I believe the, uh, the painting was somewhere on this wall. If I remember correctly. Yeah, here we go. So this will complete the Snow Kingdom at least. As simple as that. I thought I had known where it was. I don't know why that wasn't open. Oh, you know what? It wasn't open because it didn't want you leaving uh, the Bowser Kingdom. That's right. All right, Snow Kingdom, Clifftop, and boom, there's the last moon here. So that one, this this place is done. Goodbye, birdies. It's weird seeing the penguins. Okay, that was weird. It's weird seeing the penguins fly because they never did in Super Mario 64. And for, as far as I know, I think that's the only other game those style of penguins are in. Well, no, there's pushy penguins in Mario Party 4, but still. Hmm. Like, I don't think they're in any other, like, mainline Mario game, and they're never shown flying. So it's just weird. How do I get that gosh darn- also... Oh. Hello there. I have no idea how to get that gosh darned key. Oh! Nope. Oh my goodness. That's a lot. Really? That small of a time limit? Oh my goodness. Oh, you know what? It wants me to use Cappy. That's That makes sense, I guess. I just keep thinking, oh, I can't use my Cap for this. Like, look at how much quicker that is. Well, if I'm bad at it, no. Oh, I missed one over there. I still didn't get him. Oh my god. This is tight. Holy moly. I think if I were to make a list of the hardest moons, this might be on it just for the fact that it's like... It's collecting the note blocks. There's nothing that's... Not blocks, but it's just collecting notes. There's nothing. There's no note collecting ones that have been this hard so far. Yeah, you know what? If I didn't have to, like, completely let go of the, uh, the controller to throw my hat in a spinning direction, like, that would be so much easier. But I can't do that because I'm not holding them separately. And, like, I just keep missing the corner ones! I can't... <sighs> and, like, the hat's not just gonna get them all every time, you know? It barely doesn't reach the outside ones. Oh my goodness. Huh. That one kind of sucks, you know? Just for the fact that that's pretty much a moon that's requiring motion controls. And so far we haven't really seen any that require you to use some of these. Yeah, it's a new moon too. We haven't really seen any that require you to use all of these weird moves of the Cappy that we have now. Oh, come on! He moves right when we get to him. All right, show me what you got. Five more, one Goomba's not even on the stage, cool. Oh, come on. Goombas are like dangerous in this game. I'm dead. There's no way I'm living this. Plus, you are just chilling. There we go, that's it, right? Just two, yeah, good, thank God. Those guys, those guys are kind of difficult. Speaking of things being difficult, people are like, oh, you thought the jump rope was easy, but you thought the the secret race was hard? Guess what? You use more than one button in the secret race in the Snow Kingdom. <laughs> the The jump rope is literally one button. Literally one button. Is the key, like, can, do you get that, like, out here? No. I don't... Like, I'm mashing the B button to, like, go out of the circuit. I think you can maybe grab onto these poles and climb them. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. 
Also, I'm getting close to the top. I don't actually want that. That makes more sense. Like, I don't want to miss them. And it looks like they're getting, like, more, like, sideways every time. That just worries me. Cool. I don't know if I can just warp and have it count. So, I also can't go on the... The right side of these poles. Like, it's only letting me go through the left. Huh. When I saw them, my first thought was, wasn't, oh, I can climb on these. That's just weird. Cool. That makes another jumping from flag to flag. Cool. Uh, looks like there's a bunch of moons up over here. In fact, they almost all look like, eh, they're, they're thrown about among the top here. Also, there's been a problem in the last few episodes that I kind of want to address, is the, uh, the video sometimes just, like, cuts randomly, and I've been trying to fix it as best as I can, but it's kind of difficult, and I'm sorry that that's happening. It's just, like, how, do I, how am I supposed to get a ball over here? Is there one shooting them from, like, over here or something? No? Huh. I've been trying to fix it the best I can. I don't exactly know what exactly is causing that, but uh, hopefully we can fix that. Did we get this before? Hold on. Have we seen this? We have not. This is new. Oh my god. Okay, well, we're going to have to go back to the Sand Kingdom for that. Fun. I don't see. Oh, you know what? Oh, golly. That's fun. All right. We'll do it. We'll do it. It's all the way up here. I just gotta wonder, is there still nothing in that little lake? It looks like there's boxes down there, and I'm not sure if those were there before. Uh, okay. Go up this. Alright. Bait this boy. Then knock it like this. Ooh. Looks like they keep coming once you bait it once. Dude. Oh my god, this is difficult. <laughs> oh! Hey, there it is. Bullseye. Cool. See you, Brady. I'm just gonna let it die. Nice. There's a lot of creative ways you can just kill the enemies here. Like, just have them betray each other, you know? Just die. Alright, there's one on each side of this. I see purple coins there. God bless. I think these might have been on screen at one point and people were like, hey, purple coins, and I was like, oh, yeah, and then just never got them. Yeah, that'll at least get us above 20 that we need to find. So that's a, a little bit of a, a good thing. Does this fling us over to that thing? I think it does. So we'll try it. Cool. I also don't think we've been able to get up here otherwise, like previously. Except for the slingshots, because I think I tried to get over to it. Okay, I don't know why I just pulled up the map there. Just like, try I was just like, what the heck is this? I don't know, we haven't been in a secret area for a while, so I was just like a little confused, I guess. Wow, I'm surprised that worked. What are we trying to do here, just get to the end? This looks like an area where they'd put... Where they'd put moon shards is just the only reason why I'm like a little taken aback here. Looks really simple as a level concept. Is that boy walk in there? Jeez. Is the secret on top of this or something? Like, where are we going? Hold on. I feel like the secret moon's in here somewhere. Also, I hate getting knocked back. That's scary. A heart. Okay. Thanks for that. I guess. Wh oh, I was like, where did I go? <laughs> no. Or gooch. I like how every... Every wall here is stabbable. There's no metal walls, so it's just kind of... Take the level however you want. Also, I stabbed the wall and got in... And got that dude in the same stab, so that was cool. 
Also, my only question is, like, where's this secret thing gonna be? Oh, probably on that flag somehow. Uh, I have not seen the secret moon. That's a little worrying. Uh, where would that boy be? Oh, I think I know. Hold on, let's like... Boop! Cool. Oh, I'm taking risks. There we go. Alright, we're gonna... <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, there it is. Boom! Easy as that. Cool! There's Poke the Wooden Tower. Hold on. Can I go up this? I think that's the first time we've seen a warp pipe on the ceiling. That's a little odd. Anyway, right on back out of here. Nope, right on back out of here. Also, I just noticed you can put the hat on the fence post, apparently. Odd. Okay. Um, I don't really want to move on quite yet. I want to go back over here. Because there's another one on the other end. Just another warp pipe. Also, a monitor. What are you doing here? I'm fascinated by those creatures with the beaks that stretch out, stretch out to poke things. Okay, then we'll bring you a boy, I guess. No, I just want to keep looking under these roofs to make sure there's nothing, uh, no coins or anything, because we still need to find those, and that's going to be a pretty big worry here. I'm not sure why that flower is there. Maybe just to make progress. Uh, do we have a birdie boy anywhere? Yeah, we'll just grab one of these and bring him over. Hey, yep. Hey. No thanks. Sometimes I feel like I just take way too many hits while I'm playing this game. Like, I have three hit points, which is like plenty, I guess, I feel like. And then I just end up dying because I'm like, oh, I'm at one for the first time in like 20 years, you know? And I just don't know how to deal with it. There we go. All right. That monitor was like on the other side of this thing, I think. You can actually go faster if you just, like, fling yourself. I think. I'm not sure if it's actually faster or if it just feels faster. Hello there. I'm a birdie boy. Huzzah! It's one of those animals with the stretchable beak. I have so wanted to see one up close. So the beak rapidly opens up from a microfolded state. Yes, I'm confident that I now truly understand this odd beast fully. It's weird how, like, these... These, like... Un I think unintentionally give you more information about the animal itself. Like, I don't know. Like, how it's, like, folded up. I feel like someone should do, like, super realistic interpretations of these animals based on... Not animals, but I guess, like, monsters. Based on the monitor's uh, interpretation. I feel like that'd be interesting. Alright, once again, I want to make sure there's not, like, coins under these. Because I may have missed them on this side. Okay, there's not even a thing there. There's There were some coins right there. And I believe... The thing's gonna be in the same position. Yeah, it's literally just on each side. They're a little bit of a travel to get to, to be honest. Alright, what do we have? We have a key somewhere, and we need to... Cool. We need to fly around to get to them, I guess. Alright, also, plenty of opportunities for coins, which we're very desperately gonna need. Oh... There are moon shards. Okay. It's good to know. Anything in here? Just a bunch of coins. All right. Once again, a very interesting... <gasps> Ow! The skill. Very interesting uh, idea for a level. Can I, like, break these? I'm hoping that there's going to be hearts in one of them. Probably not. Oh, hey, there's a heart. Are we, like, maybe looking for a shard in all this? I got really lucky. Um, no, we'll go and find all the... I have no idea how that didn't hit me. We're gonna find all the normal shards. Okay, oh, so we're looking for a key and the shards. So that's where the key is. And I'm thinking that's the secret moon. Or maybe it's the shards. Either Honestly, either one could be the secret moon. But I don't know. Uh, looking for shards in here. Yep. One more. This one's gonna suck to find. It's 
for sure. Get plenty of coins, though. Uh, looks like there's something under here. Yeah, there it is. Cool. That's simple enough. That's a fun little area. Once again, like I was saying before, all these secret areas having, like, just not normal platforming rules and using all these different mechanics, all these different captures is really cool to me. And I think it's one of my favorite parts of the game. It's just that every challenge isn't just platforming as a, like is the case with almost every other Mario 3D game. Like obviously 3D World is specifically platforming. 3D Land is sp specifically platforming. Galaxy had a few puzzle-like things like the one where you have to break all the boxes with the with the fire flower or like the bombs and stuff. Uh, Sunshine, if I recall, wasn't a tiny bit of, like, uh, figuring out secrets. There's a moon over there. Such as with, uh, let's see. Probably, like, uh, watering the flower, or, not, like, uh, making the... F okay. Making the flowers grow in the carnival stage. I don't remember any of them. I don't remember the name of any of the stages. Honestly, it's been forever since I played Sunshine. Like, wow, it's been a long time. Also, we're getting a little bit up there on time. We might get this last moon and then call it there. We might be able to finish this game, this game, this world kingdom in the next episode, but I wouldn't hedge my bets on it, especially with how many coins we're missing. But once again, we'll probably just skip out on those if we don't end up finding them real soon. And right in there. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I'm trying to pop out. Nope, did not work. Okay. Oh. Uh, he respawns, right? How long does it take for him to die? You know what? We could probably just get out of here normally. As he was respawning. Is there anything above? No. Okay, good. We have no reason to be back in there then. Oh, we bonked. Whatever. Not a big deal. Cool. I think I'm going to call the episode there. In the next episode, we're going to get a few more of the moons here. Uh, hopefully, maybe finishing it up. We only have 20 to go, so I think that ought to be doable. So I will see you all then. And goodbye.